CataractCoach.com. Cataract Quiz, what is that stringy thing? Two different cases showing the same type of vitreous opacity. Now look, even before you start your cataract case, yeah, there's a posterior subcapsular cataract, but what is that stringy thing? It looks pretty large. Is that like an old vitreous hemorrhage, do you think? Well, no, the patient's never had a history of that. Non-diabetic, no history of uveitis. What do you think's going on here? Essentially healthy, normal eye for the patient's entire life until the cataract developed. Now, what is that thing? Now, it looks like it's attached to the back surface of the posterior capsule, and it extends way back into the vitreous cavity. Well, let's think about it for a while. Think about this. How about a persistent hyaloid artery? Yeah, that's what it is. Remember your circulation, right? Internal carotid. Then you get that first branch, the ophthalmic artery. From the ophthalmic artery, you get this developing, this hyaloid artery that's done in utero. So as the human fetal lens is developing, it can get this big blood supply. And then somewhere around the 10th week, or let's say the, somewhere in the third month of gestation, it regresses completely and then leaves that empty hyaloid canal and then if, if you have a little spot attached to the back of the capsule, sometimes we call that a Mittendorf dot, but this is far more than just a dot. And if you have a little papillae stuck on the optic nerve where it was uh, originating from, that we call a Bergmeister papilla. But this is just a very large, still regressed, but persistent hyaloid artery remnant. And there's no blood flowing through now anymore. That's all stopped. And obviously... Now it's just ophthalmic artery going into that central retinal artery. And of course, this, the patient, believe it or not, doesn't really notice it. Now, oftentimes when you have these types of passes that are present since birth, the visual system just kind of gotten accustomed to it. So think about your patients with asteroid hyalosis, how you think, how do you not see all these massive floaters, but the patient just somehow doesn't even notice them. So in this case here, I agree, I wouldn't do anything. Just do the cataract surgery and call it a day. You don't have to worry about this. If it really is bothersome to the patient, which I highly doubt it is, well, then your vitreoretinal colleague can do a full pars plana vitrectomy and go attack it from that method. But very interesting case here. Let me show you another case from a different surgeon. So here, obviously, with a dense cataract like this, it's really kind of hard to see. You see a little bit of it dancing behind there, but because this lens has such a central opacity, it's hard to tell. Hey, did I tell you about cataract coach on my website? I need you to check out the podcast. Like, you didn't know before cataract coast that you wanted to watch a cataract video every day, but you do. And I'll tell you, you don't know it yet, but you do want to listen to our podcast. It's just an hour a week. You can listen to it while you're driving the car or you're exercising or whatever else you're doing. I promise you will absolutely love it. Now, at the end of the case here, check it out. There we go. There it is again. Another, again, persistent hyaloid artery remnant. And it, again, it's there. It's of real no consequence. I'd leave it be. I wouldn't try mess with it. And again, variations of this are like we see in these two cases, a very large portion that's persistent and it's regressed. But you could also see, again, if it's just a little bit attached to the posterior capsule, a Mittendorf dot. And if it's just a little bit of a papillae on the optic disc, then that's the Bergmeister papillae. So interesting cases here. Again, the cataract part's relatively routine. And I'm glad you're playing along with the quizzes. Now, if you do love the cataract quiz, and who doesn't love a good cataract quiz? If you go to cataractcoach.com, the actual website, you can actually see all the quizzes. There's a subcategory there. Click on cataractcoach.com, click on complete list of, art uh, of articles and videos, and down there, scroll down to quiz, Q-U-I-Z. And you can get all the cataract quizzes lined up for you to watch in a row. Test your knowledge. See how good you are. And again, remember, check out that amazing podcast.